homemade chocolate cake with chocolate glaze. Let's start the video. Welcome back everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now to get started on our chocolate cake, I'm going to spray a 9x9 pan with non-stick spray. Now while I'm doing that, here's the list of the ingredients we'll be using today. If you want, you can pause the video here so you can see the ingredients or you can find all the ingredients I use listed in the description of the video. Now that I have my pan sprayed with non-stick stick spray, I'm going to be using a little of the cocoa powder and dust the bottom of our pan with that as well. So to get started, I'm going to be using buttermilk as well as egg and oil. So we we'll want to mix all of our wet ingredients up first and we'll combine our dry ingredients as well. In a separate bowl. Now for the oil, you can use vegetable oil or canola oil. I'm also going to be using vanilla. And also for the milk, you can use regular milk instead of buttermilk. So while I'm mixing everything up, I'm just going to preheat my oven to 350. So now that my wet ingredients are mixed up, I'm just going to set those to the side and in a separate bowl, I'm going to sift my dry ingredients, which would include my flour, sugar, and I'll also be using salt as well as baking soda and we're also going to be using cocoa powder as well. Now you do not have to sift your ingredients. Usually when you sift things, it does make for a fluffier cake or bread or whatever you're making but you can just mix the ingredients together. I'm also going to be adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm going to add six tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder and we're going to mix everything up together.
So now that I have my dry ingredients mixed together, I'm going to pour my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients, and then we're going to whisk everything together. And after about a minute of whisking, I will take a spatula and we'll just fold everything together until everything is mixed. I'm also going to be adding some dark chocolate chips for the our cake batter. Not a whole lot, but just a little less than a quarter of a cup. And this is optional. Now we'll pour our cake batter into our nine by nine pan. Now this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven and this is gonna cook for around 20 to 25 minutes and definitely check it close to the 20 minute mark because you don't want it to dry out. Now while our cake is baking, I'm gonna show you how I make a chocolate glazing for our cake. Now to start, I have some melted butter over medium heat. And it's real simple, we're going to use melted butter, unsweetened cocoa powder, powdered sugar, as well as milk. And the milk is going to be six tablespoons of milk. We're also going to be using around one teaspoon of vanilla. So now that we have our butter melted, you want to turn your heat off. And the butter is cooling down at this point, so you want to add two tablespoons of unsweetened chocolate to it and then you want to whisk that together till it's completely dissolved in there so now that you have your chocolate and butter mix you want to add your powdered sugar to the mixture continue to whisk and then you're going to use your milk to thin thin it out and if you want it thicker use more powdered sugar if you want it thinner use more milk Now I am going to add more powdered sugar because I want this to be a little thick, thicker than what it was. And remember as it sits, this will thicken up as well. And you can also add more vanilla as well if you like to taste some vanilla. Okay, so our cake is out of the oven and it's cooled down. And look how nice that glazing kept out. So we're just gonna pour our chocolate glaze over our cake.
So we're going to cut our cake and put it on a plate and give it a taste. And I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please give it a like. That helps the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to check out my video towards the bottom of the screen on how I made a cheesecake. We'll see you on the next video.